Hi everybody, Francis Vega here with NeonTommy.com and right now we're standing in front of Grauman's Chinese Theater for the premiere of The Right. I'm standing on the black carpet where Anthony Hopkins, Colin O'Donoghue, Alice Braga and all the other stars are going to be here tonight. And after we talk to them, maybe you guys can go watch the movie. It's sure to be a very spooky film, so let's go on and talk to them. What do you think of this genre? Are you a big fan of scary movies? I am. I like being freaked out a little bit, I think. I think I like that it, you know, plays on what people are really scared of. Like, you kind of, you go home thinking, like, is there going to be some weird demon waiting in my bed to jump inside of me? Like, holy crap, that's really terrifying. <laughs> Did anything scary or spooky happen while you were filming? They say things like that about the exorcist all the time. Not for me. I don't know about for everybody else, but not for me, thank God. <laughs> Did you get to meet Anthony Hopkins while you were? Um, I didn't formally, but I got to sit next to him behind the monitors and watch him do a really, really amazing scene, which was like such an experience. It was incredible. It really made me just like want to be a better actor and I was like, as soon as I get back to L.A., I need to get back into class. I need to read books. I need to focus, focus, focus. Because he's just like, you watch him and your mouth is just like a gape. Like, this isn't really happening. He's incredible. So what about the future for you? Do you have anything else lined up after this? Um, we're still doing Pretty Little Liars. We just wrapped the first season. And season two will start in April. And that's about it. Final question. I don't know if how much you've seen of the movie, but how do you think this script compares to other exorcism movies? Um, I found the script to be not as much playing on the horror part of it, like trying to scare people, but more on like telling a story. And to me it was just more a little more, it, it was just came off more intelligent than a lot of like movies that just like, you know what I'm saying? Not that those movies aren't bad because they definitely serve their role as well, but it just had the, it just had this thing where you just kept wanting to read you know, there was just a, a story that you attached to. And so, I mean, you're such a small girl. How was it doing Thank all you. those violent scenes? <laughs> well, it was really challenging. And, yeah, there is a lot of physicality, a lot. But um, I've done... Um, I really have to thank Ms. Krau Mr. Crockwell, and he is the stunt coordinator. And it was just amazing because he was really uh, able to take the best out of me while we were exercise, exercising and we really practiced a lot. So, um, well, uh, it was difficult, but I really enjoyed it. What would you say was the most challenging scene for you to do? Oh, it's one of the exorcisms. It's uh, the one in the middle and um, it's like nine a scene which has nine pages we that with uh, were on that scene for four days only on that one so it was really hard not only for the, for the physicality but also mentally hard and heavy how was it working with anthony hopkins <laughs> um i would say unbelievable and just amazing really really because um he's really the best living actor for me and i was watching him in movies and i couldn't imagine myself being on set with him one day and the first day uh we had the first scene together um i looked at him at a certain point and i i realized he was there in the same room with me i said oh my God, that's crazy, that's unbelievable. And the, mm, uh, like, um, it was also a surprise because uh, he's such a, a wonderful person, not only a great actor, so this was what makes the difference, you know? And uh, I'm sure this experience is going to be unique, really. So I overheard you say earlier that this is your first time in LA. How yeah. Do you feel being here? <laughs> it's so exciting, really, because um, I've just imagined Los Angeles and it's wonderful. And being here for a premiere, uh, wow, it's amazing, it's unbelievable. And I'm loving Los Angeles, actually. I love your weather, I love your city and, and the people. Everybody is so nice and kind and friendly. Wow, wonderful.
enjoy the challenge of playing these dark characters? No, no, no more than anything else. If they gave me a script and it's a good script, I play anything, you know, if it's God or well, I play God in one thing, Thor. Uh, no, I don't have any preference. One way or the other. Isn't there at least a fun factor involved in it so often? Fun in, in this? Yeah, in the, in the role itself. Sure, and everything I do is, uh, well, I try to. I mean, I have uh, it's a great life. I, mean, I have a wonderful life. I enjoy acting. Um, they still seem to want me. I don't know how long that will go. So I'm getting on in the years now. But if they offer me a film, I'll do it. And I, I feel I'm going to have a good time. I just worked with Kenneth Branagh, and last year I worked with Woody Allen. And now me Pat Hafstrom. Uh, I take it easy and enjoy my life. Make sure the case ring is good. <laughs> the location what, what kind of misconceptions? Oh, you can't get the picture. What kind of misconceptions are there about exorcism that you guys show in the film? I don't know. I'm not an expert. I I, I wasn't drawn to it because I, I know very little about it. But it was an interesting movie to make. Is it true that you might be playing out the pitch call? Do you see a character that you Yeah, sometime this year. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. It depends if they get the money and you know, put it together. You know, making movies today is so weird because sometimes you get to the brink of about to make them and then suddenly they all fall apart. But I don't know, I'll see how it goes. I believe it when I'm standing in front of the camera. And even then I may not believe it. You're looking fine and fitted. You, you feel as good as you look, sir. I do, oh, yes. I do, I do. My <laughs> wife, and, yeah, my wife, my wife make, makes me exercise and I, you know, very strict about my food. I gotta give you one of those. Thank you, sir. Uh, somebody who's, you know, a true legend, one of the greatest actors of all time. Every single day is just, you know, a joy. He says his technique is to, to not act. Did he give you sort of tips on, on how to get He gave me a few tips, all right, but they're for, they're for me, so <laughs> okay. thanks very much. Thank Did anything spooky happen while you were on set? Anything weird? I mean... <laughs> With Anthony Hopkins, everything can happen, you know? It's so strong, so intense, then, yes, he's scaring. <laughs> he is, yeah. How is it meeting him for the first time? Uh, I, I was scared because, uh, you know, it's, uh, wow, I'm going to play with him. But he's, I mean, he, he makes everything easy. He's so natural, he's so cool on the set. And uh, during the break, he's really, he's really a great person and he's really professional. So it makes everything bigger and easy, you know, for the other one. While you were writing this, did you have the opportunity to meet any real exorcists? Yes, I met Father Gary, who is a real exorcist, and I met another exorcist in Rome, and I witnessed uh, about five exorcisms. Tell me about the exorcisms. How is it as scary as you see it in the movies? Sometimes it's scary, and sometimes it's not. And uh, because an exorcism doesn't happen uh, instantly, it doesn't happen in an afternoon. Someone is exorcised over a very long period of time, sometimes a year or two of weekly or sometimes daily sessions of prayer so you know sometimes you'll see someone going through something that's very intense and it's frightening and you also fear for them probably I feared for the people who were possessed rather than for myself 